at this point, honorable members, yes. At this point, honorable members, I wish to recognize the president, Mr. President. Point of order. How make a long point of order? I'm now recognizing. Once, sit down. Rising on a point of order. Honorable Floyd, will you please sit down? And ready. then you raise your point of order. I've now called on the president. Yeah, but I'm permitted in terms of these rules to raise a point no, of order. No, actually you're not. Until such time, I've given you the opportunity to but take the floor. Have, may I want to speak? Take a seat. I've asked Mr. President I to want address to raise a point of order first. Speaker, you are out of order. Speaker. Honorable, honorable. Yeah. There is a point of order being called. You are out of order, Speaker. Order and you are, the, you are the one who's disrupting the President. You are disrupting the President. Honorable. Allow the point of order no, before Honorable Malemba. Honorable Malemba. Allow Honorable the Malemba. order before the President speaks. No, no. I will, you I will, are disrupting I will. the President yourself. Honorable Member, I will him. throw you out. I will throw you no, out. But this nonsense that when we speak, you tell us to out. throw us out. What do you mean by that? No. It's nonsensical, this nonsense. It's nonsensical. They are also nonsense, what Malima. They are also nonsense. No. Don't address our speaker Honorable like that, Malima. Members. So when people speak, you threaten Honorable. them about throwing them out Honorable of the house. Honorable Member Shivambo, we have not as yet got to the point of questions. Hence, I am stopping... But I've called somebody. Once he has yeah. spoken, then you raise your point of order. Honorable Shibam. Honorable Shibam. I'm listening and will you please listen to? Just learn to listen. Because it's not as though you will not be given your opportunity to raise your point of order. The point I'm raising, immediately after this, I called on the president. And now you are saying point of order. Yes. What point of order is that? Listen to that. That is what, what I'm, I want to speak to. That in the last sitting of this house, when we're taking questions to the president of the ANC, he says here that you can't block, block. You can't just block all members of parliament who are on the virtual platform because that equals to evicting them from parliament. In terms of rules of the National Assembly, we are permitted perpetually to make interjections to point some of the wrongdoings that happened from where you are now. But in the last sitting of Parliament, you just cancelled all of us and never allowed us any space to talk. We wrote to you to indicate that what we effectively did was to a big all of us from parliament, and that is unconstitutional to deny members of parliament their right to speak here in parliament. And we have written to you on several occasions that instead of this okay. uh, hybrid session, which was justifiable under the stricter uh, COVID lockdown regulation, why can't we constitute ourselves as a parliament, all of us? Okay. We have built the building where we we're supposed to be meeting. And now we are reduced to these virtual settings where we have got the power to just evict everyone else out of parliament and deny them of their constitutional right and obligation to raise the necessary interventions whenever there is wrongdoing happening in this particular house. Okay. That is the point of order that we are raising that a proper constitution of this house has to be all of us gathered or permitted to gather. It was understandable under COVID regulations and lockdowns, but currently, Thank you that very much, Honorable. For not gathering all of us to hold this uh, president of yours accountable Thank in terms you, of what is in this particular house. That is the point of what I'm Thank raising. You. you have made your point. May I now address you? You've raised your point. You've raised your point. Take a note of, allow me to address you and give me that opportunity. Honorable members, in terms of Rule 26.2, and three, the speaker must maintain and preserve order of and proper decorum of the house. Rules 81 of the National Assembly provides circumstances when the speaker can control microphones in the chamber. The rule states that in the event of a member 
not showing due respect to the authority of or not obeying an order or ruling or direction of the presiding officer or acting in a disruptive or grossly disorderly manner in the house. The presiding officer may disable or switch off the microphone being used by such a member or order that that be done. Further, further honorable Shivan, rule 882 provides that before proceeding in terms of sub rule 81, the presiding officer must inform the member and the house of the intention to do so. Now, I do not wish us to go back to the debates of June uh, the 4th or whatever the date and the subsequent uh, disturbances in the house. But I would like us, I would, I've, I've heard you and I hope you've listened to me and you are well acquainted with the rules. I want us to proceed Speaker. now. On a point of order, Speaker. 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 Yeah, on a point of order, Speaker. Honorable, sit down, Honorable Shivambo, I've not given you the floor. Honorable Malema. Speaker, two points that I would like to raise with you. The fact that you're saying you don't want to go back there, it's highly respected, but it is befitting that before we proceed, you present a report of the cases that we reported to you on sexual uh, harassments uh, by the security on how they went about dealing with eviction of uh, female members. So it is important that we get that report and uh, through that report, perhaps there could be some recommendations, I don't know, where uh, you now announce how the, such matters could be handled going forward. That's number one. Number two, speaker, we were meeting in a manner we're meeting now during COVID-19. And we cannot, when the regulations have been scrapped, continue to meet in this manner we're meeting because you are doing this deliberately to protect the executive uh, to be held accountable properly because you're micromanaging us through switching off the microphones and then removing some of us from the platforms. All we're asking is, let this parliament be postponed today and there must be a proper sitting of members of parliament, all of us, under one Order, roof. Order, honorable but members. The executive Order, will you please allow Mr. Malema, who I've given the floor to, to finish what he's saying. Order. Order. Thank you. Yes, Thank continue. You. Uti, so Malema, honorable way, Malema. Yes, I'm finishing, speaker. Uh, yes, finish. The way we are constituted, it is extremely wrong. There are no longer COVID restrictions. Postpone the sitting, arrange a proper uh, venue, and allow all of us to come under one roof. Because the way you are doing is tantamount to protecting the, the, the president of the ANC and the executive from a proper, from being held properly accountable to parliament. It's our duty to hold these people accountable. But the way you have arranged, you have made it so easy to cut us out, switch off the mics, because you can do so willy-nilly. Unlike when we're physically all there to hold the Thank executive you. accountable, including Honorable him, Malema. this president who's running away and responding. Point made, Honorable Malema, I've understood the issue you're raising, and that is a matter which is on the table, which where members are calling on us to go back to a physical form of sitting. Just to say on the 7th of September, next week, Wednesday, all the chief whips of the different parties will be meeting with the speaker. And one of the items on the agenda is this particular issue, if that satisfies you. So, and then the, and the report on the abuse of our female members? The issue of Honorable Jacude. Honorable Jacude. Speaker. Your mind? I haven't, I haven't muted I your have mind. I have the right to speak as a member of this house. 
Thank you very much, Honorable uh, Speaker. Honorable Speaker, according to our rules, today's business is about the questions to the President, because this is the house where the executive is held accountable to Parliament. Then the other reports of the sexual harassment and also the issue of the bigger venue or rented venue, that one will be discussed next week. That was the agreement in the Chief Whip Forum where all Chief Whips were represented. We, we discussed this matter and the Speaker and all the presiding officers will give us a report in that particular meeting, not today. Today's sitting is about the questions to the President. I thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Jacobo. Honorable Members, order. Before I take your hand, Honorable Kalipi, if I may respond to the issue which has been raised by Honorable Malema. One, there's an issue which has been responded to by Honorable Jacobo. But there is a matter which also Honorable Malema has raised of the report on the matter which was raised here in this chamber on the last day. Now, just to say that that report indeed was received, that report is going to be discussed by the Queen Party on the 7th of December, of, um, of, on Friday, actually. It is on, your, on the agenda of, of your meeting of the Rules Committee. But in addition, if I may say this, Actually, honorable members of the EFF, because you are the complainants, you also are aware that I have given you a copy of that report. So it's not like you're not familiar with the report and the issues coming out of that report. As complainants, you have been afforded with a copy of the report so that when you interact with the speakers, with the, with the whips on Friday, at least you'll be conversant with the issues in the same way that it affects me as a person who was presiding on that day and I have gone through the report and I will be part of that meeting. Yes, Honorable Mendy. Yeah, thank you very much, Speaker. Speaker, the first part you responded to of switching off the microphones, Rule 80, uh, 82. Before proceeding in terms of rule uh, 8 sub rule 1, the presiding officer must inform the member, not members, of, of the house of the intention to do so. So what you do, you take a blanket approach and switch off everyone, not one member. When you are dealing with a member's conduct, it's a member's conduct, not EFF member. It's one member. That's number one. Number two, the report you say we have the privilege to see. Eh, indeed, we have the privilege to see. But we're going to have a problem. If we are, as women here in this house, when we are being harassed and violated, by men called by you. You equally to be honest, honorable men, you are out of order because you this is not the item for the day. Men, when did you see a woman touching a man here? Honorable men, you men. even listed men that were violated by women of the EFF. That is not true. Honorable I men. That whatever day it is, whether Friday or Saturday, Honorable men, men. we are going to this item people. will be on the agenda of a meeting. And if you want a debate on that report when it has been processed it's by not the chief with it, okay, sit down there. It's not going to be debated. The matter you now is the president must answer questions. Men that they must open counter charges against women as a woman speaker. You can't go and tell men on to go and open counter charges against women. Okay, take so, a seat. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I'm rising on the uh, rule number 92, which is very clear that if a member is aggrieved of the House because of the ruling of a presiding officer, must be able to proceed to the Rules Committee so that you can raise that point. But the ruling of the 
presiding officer is final in the house. I request that that will be observed. Chair, okay, thank you. Thank you, Honorable Khatebe. Honorable, let's see here from the virtual platform, and you will be the last one. Honorable members, we now have to proceed with the business of the day, and the business of the day is answers by the question by the president to your questions which you have raised. Speaker, Honorable Litsia, Speaker, you have raised. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, as if you forgot me. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, Speaker, thank you very you much. Recognize yeah. me before, but it seems as if you have forgot me. Can you recognize actually, me? Actually, can you I never recognized you. I said I, I did. I said come wait. back to me. You did. Said, wait. Speaker, you forgot. You did. Honorable Litsia. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, the speaker. Thank you. Sit down, Thank you. I will recognize you, and you will be the last one. Oh. You will be no, the last. You. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. I, I hope I'm audible. Speaker. Uh, you're not going. Honorable members. No. Speaker. Honorable Shibambu. Honorable Shibambu. No. Stop it. For the sake of, don't say what. For the sake of the decorum of the speaker, house. Speaker, speaker, the sake, speaker, please don't point at me. Calapanti, You've got no right to point at me. Sit down. Don't use your finger to point at me. Calapanti, I didn't come with the mother yet. Tambo, don't do that. Yes, don't you do are, that. Uh, Mamela, yes, sit down. You're right. <laughs> you didn't come your ma with your mother. My sons are older than you. But you are <laughs> now coming very no, quickly. No, thank you. Thank you, speaker. Speaker. Honorable Litsia. Yes, can I continue Honorable now? Followed by Honorable Kalipi. Yes, can I continue, Speaker? Yes, Mama. Thank you. Now I was saying, Speaker, can uh, uh, the, your table assist us? The, the sound that comes from the mics there in the house is extremely low. Um, and it, it, it's going to deprive us of an opportunity to listen to some of those who would be asking follow-up questions in the house. Okay. So can you please assist with the mics from uh, from the house? Thanks. Thank you very much, Honorable Litsia. I'm sure the people, the IT system will sort this out. Honorable Mkalipi. Honor, Honorable uh, ICT people, can you fix the yeah. comm system? Yeah, speaker. Okay. Speaker. Right. Yes, Honorable Kanye. Yeah, I, I just want to say to you, Speaker, I'm rising on a point of order, Rules yes. 92. Yes. Speaker, don't try to manage us. 92. And you are not the speaker, when. Uh, speaker, don't try to manage us. Because the issue of opening parliament is an old issue. We have oh. been writing to you. Now we are trying to manage us to tell us about the matter or the meeting that will take place on the 7th of September. Mm. So we're saying to you now, this today, we're supposed to have your president here, the president of the ANC. Mm -hmm. He's not here. Where is he? He's not here. The second point, the speaker, is the point that was raised by the national chair. Speaker, last time when we evict the spokesperson of the EFF, you also block all of us, and you don't observe the rules yourself. So today, ensure that people who are also, yes, we must admit and also apologize because we're also against the rules, Speaker. And today, they are our members who is on the platform and ensure that you don't block them because they are also members. But lastly, is to say that the country has been opened, open parliament. We have been saying that let us go even to Kailisha. We have to identify, identify public uh, 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 spaces there, community halls are there. So we Thank can go all of us to Kailicha in order for everyone to come and account. Thank please, you very much. Please respond because even the public is waiting for the response. Thank, Thank you very much. Don't tell us about the meeting of September 7. It does not hold waters. Honorable Kalipi, Thank you very much. You've made your point. The main issue is the opening up of parliament. And I'm saying you chief whips will be meeting on Friday. And one of the issues you are discussing and finalizing to find a way forward, it is precisely that issue. That's the, before you, there is an order here. And I'm just responding to that, number one. Number two, 
On this matter, honorable members of blocking everybody, if I may respond to that, actually, it is not just members of the EFF who were cut off. It is all members who are on the virtual platform from all political parties. And it has everything, uh uh, wait, wait. And it has everything to do, it had everything to do with maintaining the decorum of the house because people were streaming on the virtual platform. And I did explain that. I am now closing this matter, honorable members, and I'm allowing Khadebe on a point of order. Oh, I've not point, given you not, the floor. It's a point of order, it's it's a point of of order. order here. But I've raised a point of order. He, he had a point of order. He had a point of order. Sit down, man. Don't stand when you are raising a point of order. For the sake of the decorum of the house. That the rules say we must stand up. No, don't. Just sit down and raise your hand and say point of order. But the, the rules say we must No. Of course, I'm back there, Nila, man. But, oh. don't, don't, don't talk to us. Uh, 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 speak up. But the rules say we must stand up. Confirm the rules. But guys, can we imagine going to run all the of us stood up? We won't speak. run parliament according to your feelings. Follow the rules. The rule says we must stand up. You are feeling might be that down, but I'm the rule says we must stand up. I'm not a speaker. Honorable members, okay. Thank but you. Where is the president of the EFF for that thing. lecture? But honorable members, I want to make a plea to all of us. Why are you looking for me? I'm not your president. When I'm not a president of the republic, look for your big nose president here. Why are you looking for me? I'm making a plea to all of you, which is that, honorable members, when you still have your hand up and you are asking to be recognized, please take your seat. You'll be recognized. We don't. This is a small room. We can't all stand and say point of order. That's all I'm saying. Honorable Khatebe. Thank you. Thank you, honorable speaker. The first point of order I'll raise is on Rule 84. The Honorable Malema has just used an unparliamentary language by calling you Wena. It cannot be right. You cannot be called Wena. You are the, you are the head of this institution. Number two, Chairperson, uh, Honorable Speaker, I'm still rising on rule number 92, point of order, subsection 12. That rule is very clear. That when the presiding officer has made a determination that determination cannot be challenged here on the floor. I request if the members are aggrieved, they must take it where it's supposed to go to. On the, the third order which I'm raising, Chairperson, the Speaker, is on rule number six. It's very clear that if an unpredictable situation arises, just like the situation whereby the members are getting round, they're making the house uncontrollable, you can rule, use rule number six whereby you can take a you can make a determination yourself and then that rule will be passed over that ruling will be passed over to the rules committee but that ruling cannot be challenged so we are not here to open up your rulings of the past sitting if the if there are any people who are aggrieved they know where they must go to thank you honorable speaker thank you very much honorable member honorable zulu Thank you very much, um, Honorable Speaker. I rise um, in accordance with Rule 64. There is a time when a nation must decide and a house must decide that it shall be able to conduct itself body, in the manner in which the people of South Africa expect. So according to that rule which I've indicated, Chairperson, Stelonje Uguti, Sifuna Abandugu Bezwa, but Mama Bafuna Sibet, but Mama Bafuna Uguti Sibet, what was singing about Lalele, it will not be helpful. I, for one, that's that's pleasure. 
them intellectually. That's plagiarism. Quote I, the president. I, 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 I,